Hello, my name is Karen Molyneux. I'm a research scientist and I manage the IJ Nephropathy Research Laboratories at the University of Leicester. In this video, I will give you an introduction to IJ Nephropathy. IJ Nephropathy is a type of kidney disease called a glomerulonephritis. It is the most common cause of glomerulonephritis worldwide, but it is rare, so it's not unusual for you to have never met a person with IJ nephropathy. To understand more about IJ nephropathy, it is useful to know a bit about the kidney. Most people have two kidneys, which are found in the back of our body, just above the waist on either side of the spine. The kidneys perform important jobs. They maintain how much salt and water are in the body, they get rid of waste products. They make hormones which keep our bones healthy and our blood count normal. They control our blood pressure. To do this, our kidneys clean our entire blood at least 60 times per day. They process one litre of blood every minute and they filter 180 litres of blood per day. 99% of the filtered blood is reabsorbed by our kidneys. To enable the kidneys to filter all this blood, each kidney contains 1 million filter units called glomeruli. Glomeruli are basically tiny balls of blood vessels. Blood passes through the vessels in the glomeruli under pressure and waste products pass through the blood vessel walls. In glomerulonephritis, like IgA nephropathy, these filters do not work correctly and so the blood is not filtered properly. IJ nephropathy is a disease which affects both kidneys equally. Patients start their journey with IJ nephropathy either by going to their GP because they notice their urine is the colour of cola or tea without milk. This is because there is blood in their urine or they will have had a medical examination and been found to have high blood pressure or protein or non-visible blood in their urine. After a blood test, a kidney biopsy will be carried out. A kidney biopsy is when a small piece of kidney is removed by your doctor. This tissue is sent to a laboratory in a hospital where it is cut into very thin slices and after treatment it is looked at under a microscope. If a person has IgA nephropathy, a protein called immunoglobulin A or IgA will be seen in the filter units. IgA is a normal protein found in blood, saliva and the mucus which lines our throat, lungs and digestive tract. The function of IgA is to bind bacteria, making it hard for the bacteria to get into our body. It is important to note that neither blood or protein in urine or high blood pressure or a blood test can give a diagnosis of IgA nephropathy. To be diagnosed with IgA nephropathy, a patient needs to have had a kidney biopsy. However, in some instances, if you have non-visible blood in your urine, but normal renal function, normal blood pressure, and no protein in your urine, your doctor may say you do not need a biopsy at that time, even though it is likely you have IJ nephropathy. Once IJ nephropathy starts, the course of the disease is very variable. It can go away completely. It can stay the same for years. This is the most common situation. The kidneys may slowly lose function over 10, 15 or 20 years. The kidneys may fail completely and the patient will need dialysis or a kidney transplant. An IgA nephropathy may come back after a kidney transplant. Nearly always, things happen slowly in IgA nephropathy, so there is lots of time to discuss how things are going with your kidney doctor. I hope you find the information in this video useful. Each year I organise an IgA nephropathy patient information day at a different location in the UK. The event provides information about IgA nephropathy and gives patients the opportunity to meet other people with the disease and share stories of living with IgA nephropathy. Details about where and when the information days will happen can be obtained through the IgA nephropathy Support UK Facebook page. If you would like further information about IgA nephropathy, then you can have a look on the Kidney Care UK website and we have also produced more patient information videos on the Leicester IGA Nephropathy YouTube channel.